like reality that don't set in for them Dallas Cowboy fans. Woohoo! <laughs> Started out at the beginning of the year, we're going to the Super Bowl. I got a suggestion for you people. PlayStation have a new game system, the 7, and you can send any team you want to the Super Bowl. So I tell you what you Cowboy fans do. <laughs> Get yourself a PlayStation 7 and go to the Super Bowl. They got a participation trophy. You, you think that's good? Them Dallas Cowboy fans gonna be mad. Hey, everybody! You got I'm jokes. You play too much. Are some of y'all Cowboy fans? Say my fans. list. I can eat my breakfast. Are some of y'all Cowboy fans? Ooh. I'll tell you about my team. Okay, so you have no team. I do have a team, Donna. My team down in Texas too. I think you just like saying my name. Say my, my team name. is in Texas too. Say my my, name. Mine is the Texans. Say now y'all may say, Donica, Donica, Donica. It's name. you, girl. It's you. <laughs> you so my team down in Texas too. We got the best team in Texas. Y'all just have a bigger TV. So let me say this about all you Cowboy fans, and I'm going to leave it alone. Leave it alone. I observed y'all game and watch what the problem is. Now, the Texans may not be as good as y'all, but we played the same number of games. Matter of fact, y'all played one more game more than us. But you paid $500 million more to play that one more game. So if one game worth $500 million, we'll always play one less game than the Cowboys. <laughs> I just want to say, guys, I love them. I love them Cowboy fans, but baby, you need to see they, they, they think they God's gift to football until this season. But they will cuss their team out. And they say unsavory things about their team. You should have heard them last week. <laughs> I got a question for you. Okay, babe. That's the question. What happened to your healthy cereal and your fruit? Look at all the jelly on that toast. Let me tell you. That's whole what? grain bread. That is honey wheat. That's honey wheat? Yes. What happened? No. <laughs> what happened? You talking junk about everybody because you was trying to do better for one week. They saw you eat all that cake the other day. Mm -hmm. I ain't eating but look. You, you ate the whole piece on camera. My whole piece. It was a little whole piece. <laughs> you don't. I know you still you trying to talk about folk and they New Year resolution. Let me tell y'all something with y'all New Year. You don't fell off with. No, I haven't sound, fell off. Fell off I, ate, I ate all. Listen. Here's what you got to learn, people. Doing better doesn't mean you're doing best. Fix it up. So, I'm in a process. Mm -hmm. Now, when it was all kind of junk I was eating, I'm not eating all kind of junk no more. Mm -hmm. And so, I'm eating a balanced meal. Mm -hmm. And so, my thing is, okay, I thought this was my, my, um, my wheat bread. Yeah. Okay, well, then it's good healthy bread. Honey. Wheat. I got wheat. And, oh, this is my honey wheat bread. Yeah, well, Listen, maybe it's better than just big dough bread. You might as well go and eat the regular bread we eat. No, nah, I'm not eating that. I'm doing better. You might as well. You have been doing better doing the You're week. trying to get me to fall off. I'm not going to do that, Don. I know where I'm going with my life. I know where I'm going. You talk about me when I fall off. Let me check my, my insurance. You're trying to get me to fall off for some reason. I don't know. Mm -hmm. No, I'm healthy. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you too, baby. Mm -hmm. So... That's where I'm at. So I just want to say to any of those football fans that we was mentioning, if you're having any kind of relapse, get yourself a PlayStation. Now, one thing I've learned about that team, your PlayStation team, you can get you some other players. So if you feel like you want to go get Aaron Rodgers, you can get him too because he's at home with you. Whoa, boy, this thing right here is something serious. You feel it. I think it's best with everybody. Yeah, it's been a minute since we had um, grits on a Saturday because we did what sandwiches last time, sandwich and cereal. And then we did Waffle House, but these grits are hitting mm. the spot. Me, it is. But I want to address an issue here. That has seemed to arose in one of our videos, and I want to address you people about something. Now, <laughs> I'm one that do not complain to God about what God give you. You got to work with what God is giving you and keep working it until God take it away. It 
has come to my attention that some of y'all seem to have had a complaint about the legs that God has given me. Now let they me tell you something. They they, got some good legs. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell you. Let, uh, let, I'm gonna tell you two things. <laughs> the legs that God has given me, I appreciate both of them. Now I know, I know they may not seem to sound like much, but if you just read stories in the Bible, the man that was crippled a long time would have asked for my legs and been happy to God by him. Now I don't know about some of y'all legs. Maybe your legs touching one another. I ain't gonna make nothing about it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, babe. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Only thing I'm trying to tell you guys is. To talk about my legs is to talk about my mama legs. And you talk about my mama, you make me mad. You talk about my daddy, you make me sad. But you talk about me and I whoop you. Well, people, this is what we're going to deal with. These are the legs that God has given me. I appreciate God so much for my legs and thank you. And I'm going to have to ask you all, if you don't have a comment that would be appropriate about my legs. Somebody say, Papa. What do you mean? Baby, what do you mean? What the fuck? You see, Papa and Sailor Liz. Oh. Papa and Sailor, man. Give me their name. Give me their name. Tell me their name. I want to know their name. But they talking about your legs because I just kind of highlighted them Why you in know? a couple of videos. You know, just kind of zoom in. Don't. And so what you, you were have? outside, you were outside, you had on a house coat, some high top. Are you, telling me, are you telling me you pointed out a flaw in me and, and, and Listen, highlighted it? I, I was so tickled myself. And I was even more tickled when I was reading the comments because I told a lot of them, I promise you, I am sitting here looking at these comments still laughing out loud. Don't, man, please don't, don't, don't do that. That is please. sexy. That, please don't do that. That's sexy. Don't do that. By whose definition? By mine. You watch. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you guys, that's what it is. I just get tilted. And then you had the house coat on. You had the shovel. I mean, I, that's why I tell people, I can't make this stuff up. You were working it out. Though, that's right, baby. I get right up out the bed and jump right out there and get things done. <laughs> I'm not going to be one that's going to be sitting around. We got to get it done. I ain't got time to get dressed up. I guess so after it took us 10 months to get the generator going. I mean, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> this is what I mean. That's like me eating better. The moment I fall off, you pull it out. I do give you credit, baby. I tell the people all the time how much I love you and I appreciate you. And you take good care of me and us. You work so hard. Well. And I appreciate it. I have a question then. Who who fought? Thank you, baby. Yeah. Who fought for my legs being? It ain't nobody's fault, baby. They just keep me smiling. Well, why don't you, darling? All you have to do is fix a... a well, I can't say... Fix a what? can't say fix me something to eat because I don't eat better. That's what happened, guys. You should have saw them. They was, they was like real thick and everything, and then I started eating better, and I started dropping weight. I did, darling. I did. <laughs> don't look at me like that. <laughs> I did, I did. You to me, it looked like they thought up a little bit after I started changing my... They never been that big. But they tell, you got some pictures of when I was younger. Don't make me pull them down. Please don't pull up no pictures. <laughs> don't pull up no pictures, man, please. These people don't need to know no more about me. <laughs> you are silly. I don't want them to know no more It's about okay, me. babe. I mean, I'm just glad you wear the, the long shorts. Well, I got to wear long shorts. <laughs> don't let me see. That's what I'm saying. You know, we're starting to slight comments in on me. No, babe, I'm serious. It, it just, it's good that you wear long shorts. So with your knees and stuff. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing. You... I call them little, your little knobby knees. <laughs> It's okay, babe. Let me see him. Don't touch my sexy knees. <laughs> <laughs> these, are the things, these are the things that God knows. The truth. The truth. Mm -hmm. mm. Everybody seen your knees in them videos, baby. Your legs. And everybody, they, they're okay with it. They're okay with it. And to the ones that didn't, they probably cowboy fans. <laughs> you don't need them cowboy fans with them. You don't need them with them. 
<laughs> don't hit nobody if you don't want to get hit back. Oh, I can't with you. Mm. You are crazy. So, guys, I just want to say to everybody, now let me say this, and I really mean this, because I love y'all. Okay, okay, some of y'all throw shade at me talking about my legs. It's, it's okay. It's okay. I can take it. I'm a man. Didn't you see my man cereal that I ate last week? Last week? Your man cereal? Yeah, my man cereal. My adult cereal. Adult. I told you. If your, if your cereal have multicolors or little holes in them, you need to get some grown folk cereal. Okay, so that's why I just want y'all to know. I told you guys that. If, you know, an adult cereal, when you put them in the bowl and pour milk, the milk come over the cereal. The cereal don't raise up. This is not Noah's Ark. So I'm just saying, people, these type of things. You have to be able to have your mind set for a few things. Now, let me say this, guys. I just want to say this. Since I was dealing with football, I want to go somewhere with this. Don't, why do you keep cleaning my mouth like I need a bill? You know what? I'll tell you what. Maybe got a little I hand. just don't want you talking to the people. You got stuff all over your mouth. Okay, right? but let me say this. So, okay. So I want to say this. And I was sitting and thinking. My wife, she read to me something. And I was sitting down thinking about what was said. And so as I thought about it, I didn't want to offend anybody. So she read to me. One of her subscribers asked her a question. I need a favor for you, Miss Donna. Miss Donna said, okay, what can your favor be? Because it takes a lot to get the favor out of Miss Donna. But she says, when you get a chance, I want you to give a shout out to my husband, Larry. Now, let me say this to you, Larry. Larry. Let me say this to you, Larry. Now, now I don't know if you're a you, uh, Dallas Cowboy you fan. You better hope Larry ain't no Dallas Cowboy I fan. I don't want to offend you, Larry, if you was. Too late. But see, let me say this. Your wife said something that led me to believe you're not a Dallas Cowboy fan. <laughs> She said, if you hear us, you will pay attention. Now, a Dallas Cowboy fan ain't going to do that. If you're looking at the game, you're going to, you, you'll stop. If you hear our voice. If you hear this. Okay, so let me say this. A Dallas Cowboy fan ain't going to do that. Them arrogant people don't look at nothing and hear nothing. They when they, what? You should see them, baby. They act like they God's gift to the round brown. So, I'm just saying. I don't know nothing about football. So I'm just saying to you guys this. That tells me, Larry, you're not a Dallas Cowboy fan. And that tells me you're a very educated I man. You're right. What, he, if, he, if he's a Dallas Cowboy fan, he, not, let he might not be an educated fan. I ain't saying you are not. I'm saying if you're not a Dallas Cowboy fan, you're an educated man. <laughs> if you are a Dallas Cowboy fan. He's still educated. You're learning. You're learning. <laughs> So, this is just what I'm saying here, guys, and just in the midst of all of this. Let me say to you, I hope your team, I hope you, I don't know, maybe you're a Tampa Bay fan. Maybe you're um, Kansas City, Buffalo, you know, some teams that's still playing. Something like that. The Bengals. I mean, who, who saw that Bengals coming? Bengals on Bengals. The Bengals. Bengals. Either, either, neither, neither. potato. Potato, tomato, tomato, tomato. Okay, baby, it's the same team. The team up in Cincinnati. Well, I don't care because I'm looking for football. So well, why are you worried about I'm a basketball mom. Who's your basketball team? Queens University. That's it. That's all she know. Her son, she know her son high school team and she know her son college team. That's it. The rest that's of it don't even matter. So, but nevertheless, I just want to say to you people that's out there, please enjoy your weekend. Nothing I hope you made it mad. I hope your team has won, and if they have not, remember, PlayStation 7, you can build you a team and take them to any it's Super Bowl. It's a PlayStation Bowl. 7 now, for real. Which one you got? Five. Okay, well, the five, then. You're trying to, you trying to speak ahead like you did with your telephone, your, your um, cell phone. The only thing I'm saying, baby, with it is, I'm saying. You kept saying seven. I well, said I'm, just saying, seven, I'm just seven, saying, I'm just saying the seven. Dallas Cowboy fans, when the PlayStation 7 come out, they'll still be talking about they going to the Super Bowl okay. and still can't explain why they ain't there. I'm just <laughs> saying. So you get yourself your PlayStation 5 then, and you can build you a team, take them to the Super Bowl, and get you a participation trophy. Woo! That's right, baby. Let them participate in all of the games that they can't get to on their own. These are the things that I just want to say to all fans. Yeah, that's all I have to say to you.
You're done. Mm-hmm. I ain't got nothing to say to no people. Why are they still here? <laughs> Why are they still here? Because we have to stop the camera. We'll stop the camera, don't we? <laughs> they all looking at you. We'll stop the camera then. Don't they all looking at you. Don't we'll stop. I'm not looking at them. How do I know they're looking at you? They looking at you. How, you I, how you know? I don't see you. It be so quiet in the house when you're not talking. Listen. Y'all don't want to hear me talk. <laughs> If you don't we, wanna, get, we get ready to let the people go. If they don't want to hear me talk, we get ready to let the family just go. Shake some, just shake some. Just shake some. That means you're moving on. Go on, go on. Shake some. Just shake some. There you go again just trying to some. remix. Go on, go on. Shake some. <laughs> just shake some. And while you going, hit the nosey. Thank you guys. So much some. for watching. Just shake some. We already just look forward shake, to shake, you. Shake some. Just hit the nosey. You told them one time. We they ain't listening. Forward. They probably looking at the football game. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. Bye.